introduction, have a seat, ladies. Don't worry about it. Okay, so we are very, very packed in here. Let me just remind you all, this is a performance. This is not a pep rally. So in a performance, we are quiet and respectful of the performers, okay? We do not yell things from the audience. If you shout anything from the audience, you'll be removed. If you continually talk, you will be removed, and we will send you back to six o'clock. As long as everybody is respectful and kind, we have parents in the audience, we have grandparents in the audience, we have younger siblings, Please do not ruin the performance for anyone else. I know you all are going to do a wonderful job. You're going to be respectful because these kids have worked hard all semester. They wrote this play from scratch. They wrote every single word. They created every character themselves. Okay, so let's all give them some respect, and I hope you all enjoy our production. And we're going to go ahead and get started. some kind of basketball game and I was there I watched I knew we won against somebody but you know I was too busy you know watching real sports it's football but you know we also had that wrestling tournament the other week we completely obliterated in Casta Creek I'm talking they didn't even see the woodchuck coming but in other news more important news I Keith Keith Schlosky Broke up with Melissa Krumskin last night. It's true. I'm okay. I'm, o I'm okay. But, uh, you know, she uh, decided to go to her grandfather's funeral instead of my football game. And that <laughs> just wasn't going my way. It wasn't. <laughs> it's okay. I'm good, though. So, uh, Back to you, Jordan, with a Y. I'm so sorry to hear about that, Keith. It's okay. But now, on to fitting in with Jordan. I have some advice for you freshmen. Advice number one, if you are going into high school, you will always stay friends with your friends from middle school. Like, you guys said BFF forever. Come on. Advice number two, freshman girls, if you want to go out with somebody, go out with a senior. They're so nice. <laughs> Jordan. Thanks, Stacy. 
Jenny, don't you guys just love her segment? I totally love her segment. <laughs> it's my favorite part. But time. now to Jenny with our general announcements. Hi, I, I'm Jenny. Uh, today for lunch we're having the mashed potatoes uh, covered in cheese. Uh, there's a assembly later today, so go to that. And uh, tell your parents the PTA meeting is tonight. And buy your tickets for the dance at lunch today. That's all. Oh, sorry you guys, she's a little new. But once again, seniors, don't forget about that secret meeting tonight. And the juniors are collecting blue highlighters, only blue highlighters, for ACT prep. Woo! Go Castle Creek High School! That's all for announcements today. Woo! Go Beavers! Ah, good morning, ma'am. How are you? I've had better days. I just spent the entire morning in the principal's uh, office. Uh, mm, turn around. Come here. Are you trying to take Daniel the beaver? No. Give it to me. Come on. Get the class. Dude, did you guys see my dunk in practice yesterday? No, yeah, I know. You were like, Kobe! Kobe was awesome. Kelly. It was so cool. Dude, like, for real, there's a whole lot. class or I'll give you a citation. You can't write me a citation. I'm a hall monitor. You're what? You know, with the safety sash and the citations and all of that. I'm, I'm one of you. Are you all right? You need an inhaler. Yeah, okay. Here you go. You took my breath away. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to keep this. Okay, sure. Um, I'm Clara Beth, by the way. Benjamin Berkeley. Nice Benjamin. to meet you. So, uh, Clara, yeah? how long have you been roaming these halls? About as long as I've been roaming your heart. That's not very long. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, I just moved here from Wisconsin, and, um... Land of the Chiefs? Yep, home of the dairy. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, we're just down the road from a mental asylum. Don't you worry about that. It's okay. Oh. Yeah, you have quite a lack of uh, cows and pastures and other various things that come with cows. And, uh... Yeah, we only have beavers here. Oh. That's great. <laughs> so, uh, did you hear the morning announcements? I did. Yeah, I did. So, you going to be at the dance? Yeah, I'm, um, I'm working the... Uh, Lisa, Lisa, to the office for the I'm, uh, I'm working slow dance. 
dance duty. Oh, really? Yeah, you know, boys and girls have to be at least three feet apart. No kissing? Uh, no kissing. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, since I'm a hall monitor, yeah. and you're a hall monitor, uh -huh. maybe we can co-monitor the dance together? Sure, that sounds great. Um, well, let me do this. Here, how about I write you my phone number down? <gasps> But um, you have to call between 7.30 and 8 because that's when my mom watches the Powerball. Oh. <laughs> she sounds really ambitious. She's something, all right. <laughs> well, okay, uh, well, um, I better be getting AP calculus. Yeah, so. I better head off to biology since no, we already have chemistry. We got something, all right. <laughs> well, uh, okay. anyway. Well, I'm going to go. Well, do you know the hall monitor high five? I do, yeah. You want to do it? Sure. Oh, <laughs> well, uh, oh, well, I better get to class. I don't want to be okay. late. All right. Um. 
Um, well, uh, uh, would you like to study flashcards at lunch today? Oh, yeah, that'd be great. Okay, um, well, then I'll see you there. Okay, okay <laughs> bye. bye. Benjamin? Excuse me. Hi. Um, I'm. I, I think you need to get to class now. The bell rang. Um, excuse me. You need to get out my face. Um, well, I mean, I'm, I'm a hall monitor, and, and if you're not in class by the bell, I have to write you a citation. You're so, not gonna write nothing. Okay. Um, Benjamin. Yeah. How many times have we talked about this? We have not talked about this. You get in trouble every week. I know what you did to the Dan Daniel statue. No, you don't. Yeah, you drew the mustache. How do you know about that? I have eyes everywhere. This is my school. Get to class. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? Yeah, I'm okay now. <laughs> thanks, uh, thanks for that. I appreciate it. No, I'm just doing my job. You're like my knight in shining safety staff. <laughs> <laughs> I, I better go. I, yeah. I, no problem. Maybe I'll buy you some cheese or something. <laughs> <laughs> bunch of hooligans. Y'all remember me, you know, I was just talking about uh, three months back, but uh, you know, I'm back. Y'all know remember my name? My name is Coach Quad. All right, and you know, welcome back to AP Gym, otherwise known as Dabba Size. Now, you know, we're going to start off with the faces again because it's been so long, but before we do that, I'm going to do my roll. I have it written on my hand, so let's go ahead and uh, get our little bands out. Let's see, we got a... Uh, Peyton. Yeah, man, look, Peyton Manning, I'm going to crush it. Oh, Peyton Manning. All right, let's go ahead and check that off and erase that right there. Now, look at this, guys. Prime example of prime electricity of energy. Look at this. All right, now, Peyton, believe it or not, I have these customly made, if I can get these unraveled, that is. You know, I've had these customly made. These are our dabba size bands, all right? Sweet. Let's see. We have a uh, <laughs> Rolando. It's Jenny. So it's not Rolanda, because right now it says Rolanda. It's Jenny. You know what? Uh, I'm just going to cross that out and all that good stuff. Uh, Jenny with a G-I-J, G-I Joe, you know, uh, what do we got? <laughs> okay, I'll take a guess on this one. I'll just check that out. Get this one over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, let's see. We got a uh, Lacey. <laughs> Yes, yes, it's your name. I said it because it's on my roster, so don't, don't freak out. And I can have a handbag, thank you. <laughs> and Clavis. Hi, Coach Quad. How are you? How are your chakras? <laughs> thank you. Okay, now it seems to me we're missing uh, Benjamin B. Berkeley. I know he's on, you know, patrol and all that. And uh, Agnes F. Farley, I guess you know. She one of them down here. In the locker room, room like that. Oh! My oh, man oh, Benjamin, oh, okay. Let's see, go ahead and get this off the side and what now. Now, now, Agnes. Yes, sir. You know the rule. 17 more lakes, that's a detention. A detention? Mm hmm. D E O tension. D O tension. Uh, okay, coach. All right, now here's your dab size band. Thank you. All right, now, Benjamin, I'm going to go ahead and get some new. You can put, you know, put it in your little. Protect your back or whatever you yeah. call that thing. All right, hey, big buddy. Uh, whatever the crap you do with your hands. All right. <laughs> all right, now, we're going to go ahead and start it. Now, we're going to you know, have to get limber and timber with some uh, stretches and all that good stuff. So we're going to do some whip lunges. Now, whip lunge. What's a whip lunge? Uh, Ma'am, please don't interrupt the teacher while he's talking. I'll give you one well, warning. Lavender. That, that Benjamin, thank you, by the way. But, Lavender, I'm going to tell you. And you know what? 
For this, you can do a peace sign. I can do a peace sign? Yep, if you just be quiet. Okay, okay, okay. Good okay, job, I'll try. good job. I'll try. I'll try. Okay, so what we're gonna do is peace sign for lavender. Don't y'all forget that now, because I'm sure she won't. You get your peace sign for lavender, but for us, we're gonna do a fist. So you get your fist, and when you go to whip, you lunge, okay? Okay, so we're gonna go this way now, okay? So we're gonna go one, two, three, and whip, lunge, okay? You know, you know I believe it's kinda getting a little dusty in here. I have no clue, but Benjamin, I'm scared. Me too. <laughs> okay, now uh, we're gonna, we're gonna, whew, that was too much, oh gosh, okay. So basically what we're gonna do now is we're going to do some dab squats. Now dab squats. Are dab squats probably free? Ma'am, one more warning. Coach, it's okay. okay, we're gonna get through this, I promise. You're gonna die. It's gonna be okay. It's okay, okay, you, you know what, I, I believe you this time. Just gonna shake it off. Okay. Uh, they move. No. All right. They said no. Okay. <laughs> I'm scared, Benjamin. This is a new class. Okay. So we're gonna do some dab squats, all right? Now we're gonna dab to the right right now, okay? So one, two. How many are we two. gonna do? We're doing two, Peyton. Just two? Yep, just two. You mean like two dash hundred, right? No, I mean two. You know, the L dose. Um, if you only do two of something, how are you gonna make any kind of games? Well, you don't need to make games in the class. This is all about style. But right? coach, I'm taking this class because whoa, whoa, I'm an athlete whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey. I just can't. Football just... field, basketball <laughs> court, Peyton Manning, okay. Gronkowski. Okay. There you go. Okay. You're good. Go to happy place. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's quite the class. Let's go, coach. Okay, we're doing two. You can do the rest of the 198 at home. You can do it all the games. Really? All the games. Yes. Okay. So we're going to do one going this way and the other going that way. You ready? So one, two, three, and damn squat. Put your hand down. She didn't do it. Oh, yeah, it Who didn't do it, Benjamin? Her. <laughs> You're talking about me. We're talking Her. about the one that screamed when I ripped off a pants. Yeah, the weird one. She okay. Um, <laughs> you don't do it again, that's a detention, okay? Okay. Okay, good job. Okay, so you got to go. To the left right now, so one, two, three, and dead squat. All right, now that we're getting all limited, and we're getting all simple, we're gonna basically end it off with some nay nay stretches. Now, the nay nay stretches, they are one of my favorite things so to do. Claude, I got are it. nay nay stretches vegan? No, they're not vegan. Ma'am, I gave you two warnings. Okay. <laughs> you know, two? Yeah. Yeah. Two. Is this recycled paper? No, why would it be? Why is it not recycled paper? <laughs> You're killing me! Jesus. <laughs> Miss Sylvia, we got to kill Ravinder. Ravinder! It's not me! We'll talk about it in Ah, she left for a citation. Be sure to recycle that one. Yeah. No, it makes it all the worthwhile not to. <laughs> okay, anyways, Benjamin, I know you got to go back to parole, yeah. don't you? Okay, well, you, you take care now. You keep on to that a little. Okay, you know what, whatever. You, you just go do what you do. Go clean the toilets, I don't know, okay. So, basically, we're gonna end it off with some nay-nay stretches, all right? So you take one right arm up to the left sky, put one down low, all right? You go to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right. Look, see, I'm switching up on things. I ah, see, y'all ain't getting quite. Are you reading a book? <laughs> Like forever. She's good forever. No, no, maybe. I found my inner peace. 30 minutes tops. 30. If you need me, just page me, okay? Pa okay. <laughs> Happy place, right, babe? It's gonna be fine, coach. Okay. Honestly. Uh, kill just me. Think okay. About okay. <laughs> okay, so. Now, it's time to do the routine. Everybody remember the routine? I know it's a little sketchy and all that good stuff, but we can do this. All right, everybody huddle up. Come on now. Come on now. Alright, you ready to go?
magic on. Man, you gotta be quiet. That's not how this works. This is like, you know what that happened in the Wi-Fi? They shut that stuff down. This is link cable frame style. That's how this is gonna work. That's a joke at this point. You know my dad. Get rid of that cart, man. I know, I know. I know your deck. We, got, we don't have much time here. You gotta go, man. That's right. We don't be. have much time, Ramundo. You're in. You're in that play, aren't you? Yeah. What of it? Well, I'm leaving with that card. I have that stab. Super sad, you guys. What's up, Mayor Q? Hey, what's up? I'm in love with this girl named Rosalind. Does she dig you back? Nah, she thinks I'm a creep because I stand at her window and call her name. <laughs> <laughs> That's not creepy, is it? Nah, man. Chicks, they dig. Devotion, you know what I mean? Hey, listen. Yeah. I'm gonna take you to a party tonight, meet you up with some chicks that make Rosalind look like Sasquatch. Yeah. You feel? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, on the other side of town, in like the valley or whatever. Hey, girl. You look good today. <laughs> Are you going to the party later? Yeah, but you so have to sneak me out. My parents set me up with the guy. I mean, he's rich and powerful, but what a jerk. Oh my gosh, I can't <laughs> believe your parents get to decide who you marry. That's like <laughs> totally unfair. I know, right? Anyways, let's take a picture. So later that night, the Capulets threw this rockin' party, like totally bomb, you guys, and Raimundo Mercutio snuck in. <laughs> creature I see before me. What, the creepy French dude? No. <laughs> the fair maid no way under. Oh, that be fair Julia. Could she be any more perfect? Hey, bro, she's a Capulet. Watch your back. What? A Capulet? My only love sprung for my only hate. Yeah, that sucks, bro. Hey, listen, I'm throwing post party back at my place. You gonna be there, right? Uh, the, the, yeah. Good, good. Yeah. Peace. <laughs> Like the coolest guy in 
town. Oh, sorry, guys. You should talk to him. Hey. Hi. You uh wanna go out sometime? Okay. Okay, bye. <laughs> Later that night, Raimundo is up to his creepy old tricks and stops by Julia's house while she's chilling by the window. Oh, hey, it's Raimundo. Hey, Julia. Dearest Romeo, if your love is honorable, if I propose marriage, then send me a text tomorrow. <laughs> so, Raimundo and Julia elope, and they don't really have a plan or anything, but they're totally happy, and we should just totally be happy for them, you guys. But meanwhile, across town, Tyrone and Mercutio are fighting for God knows what reason. Hey, Miss Toodles, Kendall isn't here. Do you just want me to do cards? Oh, yes, darling. <sighs> but I had... Hey, Tyrone. Hey, Mercure. friend is dead then and I've killed my wife's cousin <laughs> after the honeymoon He totally thinks she's dead. I need to get some charge in these, uh, in this castle. Hey, Julia, do you have a. Do, Julia? Do, Okay, I 
guess. So the moral of the story is, you guys, don't drink poison, because one, it's gross, and two, you'll die. The end. Oh my gosh, bro, bro, that was amazing! Did you get some Detroit. Mmm, gray skies every day. Mm-hmm, you know, the blue stars in the night with the wee, wee, wee. That's just so much fun. I never knew what that really was. Mm-hmm, me either, but I heard some other noises. They didn't sound too pretty. Well, um, well, yeah, but uh, we would spend our free time cooking a lot. Oh, don't mm -hmm. get me started on cooking. Let's see, what we started? We started off with some grits, yeah. as you just saw, you know what I'm saying. But, you know, we had some grits. My strawberry pudding. Oh, your sweet succulent strawberry pudding. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm -mm, baby. You got no idea. Now, we had that. We had, uh, what was it? Was my gravy, my southern gravy, Detroit gravy? I miss that. I miss that a lot. Baby. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. But we just, we don't, just don't have the products anymore. We don't have the pain and agony like we, we ain't did in Detroit, Detroit anymore, baby. No pain and agony down in here, okay? But I think one of the most important things was that what caused us to stop cooking. You know what I'm talking about, baby? Don't remind me, baby. Look, Brutisha Man had to be born. It was just a thing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you know, she she actually works here now. Wait, wait, you mean the Brutisha Man that eats all the food, Brutisha mm -hmm. Man? She does, in fact, work here now. She doesn't just come in and eat all the food like she used oh, to. You know, nom, 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 you know, all that good stuff. Yeah. But you know, she actually comes in, she works. She is the actual coach, believe it or not, for the girls' basketball team. Okay. And the boys' baseball team. Okay. And the boys' wrestling team. Okay. And the boys' tennis team. <laughs> and How long the boys' am I gonna soccer for, team. And the boys' what is it? Football team. And you know the football team as well because you know how those y'all speak to it. Otherwise known as soccer, but we have the lacrosse. We got you name it, even the chess. But most importantly, down to the middle school boys' ping pong team. Ping pong, you say? Mm-hmm, ping pong. My grandson going to be so excited to hear that. Oh, yo, I'll call your grandson. Yeah, I got a grandson. Oh, shoot, baby. Let me, let me hear. What's his name? What's his name? Benjamin Berkeley. Oh, but... Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. 
No. Yeah. No. Yeah. You talk about that little boy that skirts around, you know, with his home out of uniform, desanitizes everything, all that, that, that. Yeah, that's the one. Oh. Um, I didn't know he had that kind of reputation. I got something to tell you. Like what, baby? <laughs> okay, okay. Come in, come in. Come right, in. I'm, I'm right here. Come in. I got some dry lips. You know this, okay. <laughs> so, basically, mm -hmm. I saw your grandson, Benjamin B. Berkeley, in the hallway with a female specimen. <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. Tell more. Okay. So they were in the hallway yeah. and they were talking and he said to some, you know, this little girl or whatever, you know, she was all like, rah, rah, rah. but look, <laughs> basically he saved, he saved her, okay? And so they were flirting in this morning too. Oh, it was crazy. Look, she was all like, mmm, cheese, something about science, cheese and science. But then she offered to buy him some cheese. And I don't know what that means, but I think it actually means cheese this time. <laughs> but, I always save us some money. That would be nice. But, but. Right, let's come back. Oh, Lord. Okay, so basically what happens is that they were sitting there talking, and I'm pretty sure they gonna stop a date. Okay. Mm -hmm. But That's the her name, I'll give you everything. I got all the little details. Okay, okay I went see. to the incel. So her name's Clever Beth McClanahan. Oh, She's what a from, cute last name. I know, it's so nice. So cute. Hmm, okay, anyways, we gotta figure out her middle name. But anyways, so basically, her name's Claire Beth McClanahan. She just moved here from Wisconsin. But the most important part is that she is also a new hall monitor. Oh, that's sweet. Mm -hmm. right she, I'm going to tell you something, sweetie. OK, look. She's like a little angel dressed up in caution tape. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but I don't know what it means either, hey, but it, it sounds sweet. Sweet and heavenly, gratuitous, and groom. Oh, gracious. Wait, you remember that one time we almost weren't babies anymore? Oh, you talk, you, you talking about that one boy? That oh, what was his name? I think it has some sound like a Spanish Inquisition. It started with the D. D. It did start with the D. It wasn't Daniel. I know it wasn't. I know it wasn't. I got it, baby. What was it, baby? Dreamy De La Croix. Oh. <laughs> Shoot, baby, don't you get me started on Dreamy De La Croix. Mm. He was swinging like my dessert, baby. Oh, yes, he was. From, from head, head to, to toe. toe. Ooh, we so slick. You hear that over here? That was pretty good, baby. It was pretty good. It's trademark. Like right? your strawberry, strawberry pudding. And your grits. Uh, but I think it's time. Is it time? Oh, look at it. It is the, it is the time. It's All the, right, baby. You want to go ahead and start it? I got five, uh, four, three, two. It's a little late. Oh, there, there we go. go. Okay, baby. Get clapped. Get clapped.
disciplinary actions to discuss. First is, whoever drew the mustache on the Daniel the Beaver statue, we will find you. We have a bucket of soap with your name on it. Okay, also tardies. Our hall monitors, Benjamin and Claire Beth, have been through five citation books. That is unacceptable. <laughs> well, now we can pass it off to our guidance counselor. Thank you, isn't she just lovely? Yeah, hi everyone. I was just trying this new summer braid thing I saw on Pinterest. Get on trend with everyone. All the girls here are doing it. Anyways, kind of get distracted. Oh, there's the butterfly. Oh, just kidding. OK. Anyways, my name is Miss Sylvia, but you can call me Miss Sunshine because that's my spirit animal. Anyways, I have something really serious to talk to you guys about today. I'm just going to bring it down on your level, OK? I'm just going to step down for a second, and we're going to talk about authority. Dude, for real, this is my seat. Like, I literally sit here every single day right now. Oh, my God. Okay, you know, I'll see you after you know, school. You know, this is a Just stupid topic like, because bullying doesn't even exist. Hey, see you right here in front. Thank you. Coach Man, apparently bullies do exist. And these are your students. Um, They're just playing around. Oh, right. Well, me and Mr. Wiggles have been over the bullying program. Pretty good. Um, but let's go over it because if you haven't been living under a beaver dam, because we're at Castor Creek, you would know. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's see. Number one, don't bully others. Pretty self-explanatory. If you need some help, I will explain it. I'm in my office. Number two, report all bullying to an adult. Maybe one that cares. So anyone up here? Not me. Except for Coach Man. And just number three, remember the golden rule. Pretty simple. Um, let's see, next thing, scholarship. This next scholarship available is much easier to get to than the last one. You just go on our school's website, pretty easy to find. Go through Google, it's like the 10th page right there. Hit scholarship, beavers, because we are the beavers. Um, new scholarship available. Down a couple, download a couple links. 
and then it'll be right there. You need about 10 recommendation letters, um, your blood type, maybe your social security number. <laughs> um, that's pretty much it. Um, we are going to go on another field trip coming up. So if you want to go, just let me know. Come to my office. And if I'm not there, Mr. Wiggles can help you because he knows where it's at. So if I'm not there, he'll just change one. Anyways, on to our nurse. Hey guys, I'm Nurse Lester. I'm here to give you some sanitation advice. Um, one, there's boogers on the lockers and I should not have to talk to high school students about. I should not have to talk to high school students about this. Um, DJ Kool-Aid is always talking about the key to success. And in my opinion, the key to success, the key to success is washing your hands. Number three, if you're in a theatrical performance, <laughs> if you're in a theatrical performance, keep your tongue off the floor, please. Like, please. Uh, number four, it's flu season, so let's keep our lips to ourselves. Isn't that right, coaches? Um, and number five, <laughs> number five, if you think you have lice, you need to come to my office immediately. Coach Man. tonight, but I don't care. So, moving it along to my poor excuse of a colleague, uh, what was it? Coach. Dab. Coach. Whip? What? Nah, nah, it's, uh, it's Coach Quad. Oh, oh, all right. Bootisha. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, you get it, kids? Cause she looks like a man. <laughs> Anyways, so basically, you know me, I'm Coach Quine. How y'all doing? Uh, Eugene is... So, basically, what we're going to talk about today is I'm going to go ahead and talk to you guys about joining my new class called AP Gym. Now, don't let it fool you with that little name. It's actually called Dab Size. I like to think of myself as the Bob Ross of Dab. And you know what? I take pride in it. But I'm going to get this little show on the road. So, basically, I'm also going to talk to you about the dance, unlike my better excuse for a colleague. And, well, the dance is going to be the best thing ever. <laughs> ever. <laughs> so if you don't come, I will find you. <laughs> and I will dab on you. Anyway, so, you know, go ahead and, you know, be yourself, you know, get jiggy with it, as I don't know some people would say nowadays, and, uh, go Beavers, uh, yeah, you go ahead and speak now. Okay. Now we'll hear from our recycling president, oh, Miss Lavender. <laughs> Well, 
interesting. Now we'll take it from our depart our drama department, Mr. Wilson. Pizza delivery for a man. That's me. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out too, so I, I, I love pizza. It proves your dad can't be. <laughs> Hello, darling. Well, I would like to cordially invite you to our production of Raimundo and Julia, a contemporary twist on our beloved classic. This is my last show before retirement, and I would love to end my career on a packed house. Cheers! <laughs> so, that concludes with this evening's assembly. So you are now dismissed into your next block, and also to remind kids to tell their parents about the PTA meeting later, and that we would hope to see y'all to come get jiggy at the spring dance. Go Beavers!
president of Castle Creek High School back in 1917. She was here for 23 years, you guys. She made this snickerdoodle recipe that we still use to this day. So we all need to put on our happy faces and be extra friendly, okay? Okay, okay that's what I thought. All right, I already know who it is. Miss Sugar! Get right. 
bath and whatever, and like the candles, something about chocolate bars, whatever. Bake sale. The bake sale is the most important thing here. Okay? Will you make those a beautiful lemon squares that you make? Janice and I have already done that. They're gluten free, organic, and reduced fat. Oh my god, thank you so much. And I've already made Miss Sugar's famous cookies, and we already raised five thousand dollars. So it's already in the account. You're welcome. Oh, thanks. That's super wonderful. I'm going to get us that recipe. I'll talk to you later. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, we go to brunch and, you know, every uh, Saturday. Every Saturday. That's super oh, wonderful. Yeah. I'm with Benjamin every Saturday, so. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. I can make some uh, cheesecake for the big sale. <laughs> cheesecake? Put that down somewhere, Janice. Nope. It's really good. <laughs> um, it's Deb's job. <laughs> yeah, Deb. Yeah, you know, I'm not Deb. Um, oh, will you, uh, will you uh, bring some hand sanitizer? Oh I'm always ready with my hand sanitizer. Oh, thank you so much. It's always. so wonderful. Uh, Deb, do you do something? Okay. Oh, I just want to state the definition of a bake sale. It's, Some of us don't know what it is. Yeah, it's not a baked goods you bought at the store 10 minutes prior to the event sale. Okay. Deb, that happened one time. Okay. Can you talk about the dance time, okay? Uh, yes? What do you need? Uh, for the bake sale, I can bring meat. That's super wonderful. Okay, so you guys, the dance tonight, okay? We need to talk about this because it's almost time to go, you guys. It's almost time for the PTA meeting to be over and then we need to get ready for the dance, okay? Yeah. So, we're trying to look.
guys already know, two feet apart, no kissing. Same stuff every year. Hey, Benjamin, would you like some punch? No thanks, ma'am. I'm on duty. Okay, we'll be right back here. Now, Benji, big my boy. Hey, how you doing, buddy? How you doing over here? Uh, you know I'm sensitive, coach. Ah, uh, sensitive, sensitive. You know what I'm saying. Uh, you yeah. go and dance out there. Uh, If you need me, I'll be watching the National Geographic. Call me on my cell if you need me, okay? okay. Give me a kiss on the cheek. Mom, I'm not in front of my friends. Benjamin, what friends? <laughs> okay, give me a kiss. I have to go. You lost your kiss, Mom. Okay, love you, honey. Bye. Bye. Where is she? Oh, sorry. I lost my retainers. <laughs> it's okay. It's good you're here, though. Things I got them now, wild. though. Yeah, I can, I can uh -huh. end here. It's good, though, that we're both here. Things might get wild. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. But, you know, I'm kind of excited to get home. I started reading a book on anti <laughs> Well, books on anti-gravity, and, uh, you know, I can't seem to put it down. <laughs> oh, okay, well, bye. I'll talk to you later. Agnes! Oh, hi, Claire Webb. You look stunning. Well, thank you. Do you have a date? Uh, well, not unless you have a dog squad over here. Chug, 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 chug. Yeah, they uh, they put the B in subtle, don't they? Oh, there's something, <laughs> all right. Yeah. Oh, well. Um. So it's a night, isn't it? Yeah, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I do have my eye on that one, though. On Benjamin? Yeah. Oh. That's great. Yeah? You have a crush on Benjamin, don't you? Claire, but are you crying? No. <laughs> I, um, I forgot my allergy pill, and, um, and, and yeah, I, I gotta go. I'm sorry. Oh, Claire, oh. Okay. Bye, Stacy. Hey. Why? No, you don't make out in front of the hall monitor. Why are you crying, little girl? Here's a little move, by the way. Oh. Make you feel better. Jesus. Well, I'm in love with Benjamin. Benjamin, you mean? You mean Berkeley? Yeah. Ah, that makes a lot of sense. He's a great guy. Well, and Agnes is in love with him, too, but she's my only friend, and I don't know what to do. Agnes and I know to go with a book all the time, right? Uh -huh. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Oh, well, that's the predicament. I'm telling you. But look, I tell you what. I got a plan. It's an A-team plan. Come on, I'll give you a pet though. Come on, let's go. Go. Hey, look. It's like Mom. the last set of rugs. You just kind of like push through, and then he makes some real game. Uh -oh, okay. Uh-oh, Chaga. Me and Percy, go rock him. Come on, let's go. 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 Oh, I can do this. Okay. Benjamin. Benjamin! Whoa, system overload. Uh, <laughs> Benjamin, I, I need to talk to you. What's the problem? I, um, I, uh... <laughs> I uh, ran out of citations. Oh, I got plenty extra here. Oh, uh, well, um, Benjamin, uh, I'm spiking the water. No, why would you spike the water? That does nothing. Um, Benjamin, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm gonna pop the balloon. Oh, God, no. Everybody go here. Ah! Uh, You're gonna stab somebody. Yeah, well, um, Benjamin, I'm gonna fight with Kate. I'm just kidding. So. <laughs> wow. Benjamin, are you, um, are you the square root of two? Because I feel irrational when I'm around you. Oh. Yeah, well, Benjamin, you're the convection to my conduction. Uh, well, I'm the asteroid that orbits a sun called Benjamin. Ladies, yeah, well. ladies, not only am I honored by your displays of adoration, but I'm also shocked. I didn't know my pheromones gave off such a strong magnetic attraction. Wait! Benjamin, I love you. <gasps> to be dumb so you could tutor me after school. That's pretty smart. <laughs> Although I'm aware that falling in love is merely the biological secretion of hormones in, the, in my endocrine system, well, you know, it goes crazy when I'm around you, but in my life after high school, probably won't consider you. Uh, would you consider a short-term relationship with me? Stacy, I thought you'd never ask. Let's blow this joint. Okay. The library's open on Fridays. <laughs> First of all, that was 
was freaking disgusting, okay? <laughs> Second of all, you heard the people, basketball apart. Thank you. 